You won't believe what liberals are getting rid of after 90 years. Veterans are horrified from national news today at the point when libs began requiring the removal of confederate statues conservatives were cautious of all things considered in the event that we begin removing statues of lee we may begin evacuating statues of lincoln libs call them dolts be that as it may the conservatives were correct once more but this time it's not a statute of link a statue of lincoln jefferson or washington it's much more awful it's a memorial to world war one veterans that is what's descending and all since it's in the state of a cross via the daily caller the U.S. Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals decided Wednesday that the cross-shaped Bladensburg World War I Veterans Memorial is unconstitutional and must come down. The Bladensburg Memorial has honored the sacrifices of 49 men from the Bladensburg area who died during World War I since 1925 but a three-judge panel ruled two to one in favor of the American Humanist Association that the cross-shaped monument violates the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. Specifically, the judges stated that the memorial has the primary effect of endorsing religion and excessively entangles the government in religion. There are two things that should be, uh, you should see. The American Humanist uh, Association and the judges' last words. The first should make it clear that this legitimate foolishness is clearly intended to target Christians. The American Humanist Association isn't precisely an establishment that volunteers from normal Americans. They recruit atheists. It's not an exact cross-segment of American culture. Riley enough, hashtag veterans stand up to atheists suing to tear down Bladensburg, MD cross-shaped World War I memorial. Which implies things being that they are, that the opinion of the minority are being constrained upon the dominant part. That is precisely what the Constitution has intended to avoid. Be that as it may, the second thing, the expression of the judges are what truly put forth this defense ridiculous. Since this de dedication was and is intended to respect the uh, give up of Americans in World War I, that has been its motivation for almost a century now, but then the judges chose that this remembrance has really been tied in with underwriting religion this entire time. The memorial has the primary effect of endorsing religion, really? So everyone since 1925 until now has been misunderstanding the memorial. So the plaque on the memorial itself has been misunderstanding the memorial. Okay, be that as it may, the lawyers Shielding the memorial echoed these same concerns. Today's decision set dangerous precedent by completely ignoring history and it threatens removal and destruction of veterans' memorials across America. We begin disrespecting the flag and will begin removing rem memorials. We continue evacuating co commemorations and will overlook our history. Also, we'll be bound to rehash it. Now it bothers him after so many years. Oh, well, it's a 40 minute. <laughs> Austin Smith, Irish War veteran, back there. We have Anthony Rich, and post 85. BFW. Me to us. Now we have Congresswoman Donna Edwards stopping by. I think we tried to save her place. Um, 
And of course, it's very important when we have days like today to have the elected officials here because they're the ones that are in the positions to deal with, deal with, to work with the veterans and to try and get the best that they can for them. And I feel that is most important. Um, I will be doing the 4th of July program. Uh, 131 does not partner with me at that time. So if anybody is interested in working with me on the 4th of July program, uh, if you'll give the town a call. I'm not supposed to be here today. Uh, at the Veterans Day program, I know, Carl Cole says that's true. Uh, but in taking care of my husband's business, and as you know, he died last August, uh, I haven't had time to get people together to say, hey guys and gals, let's keep this going. Don't let this give, don't give up on this. And on the July program, I get people from Greenbelt and Hyattsville and University Park, Upper Marlboro, because they don't have programs. But we are always here on the 4th of July, too. And I hope we'll be able to do that in the future. Now, I'm, I'm supposed to be up here just introducing people. Um, and... What you all did out there, uh, I want to say that um, like she said, we do a lot of cookouts and pool parties or whatever for this event, but there's, there's, the reality is that people die. People die, I mean, for our, for our freedoms, and we need to never forget that. And those, you, you all out here that have served uh, alongside of those people who passed away, we can never forget that. I know it's tough for you all and what you've been through, and I respect and honor for all that you've done, and uh, I will continue that throughout. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give another hand for our elected officials. And finally, we must give honor to former council member Marion Hoffman. Let's give her a hand. She has really been a champion and really keeping uh, our veterans uh, in the forefront. So thank you so much for your service. And God bless you all. And I turn it back over to the committee. Well, I thought that we would get to listen to them talking about taking down the memorial, but it's a, it's disgraceful. They're trying to rip America apart. That's basically the bottom line. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.